The Spud, Tater, Backraft Hybrid, and Backraft Expedition have a unique one-piece air cell. This means you'll have to take the zippers completely apart to replace it. Start with the boat inflated. After removing the valve cap, use a valve wrench to loosen the valve, then deflate the boat. Take the split rings off the zipper cars. To take apart the first zipper, take one of the zipper cars and thread it through the hole in the end of the kayak. Pop off the shrink tubing, then pull the zipper car off the zipper. Slide one of the zipper cars on the opposite zipper toward the end of the boat as well. Then pop off that zipper shrink tubing and remove the car. Repeat this process on the other end of the boat. With both ends of the boat unzipped, remove the valve completely. Now you can remove the air cell. As you install the new air cell, make sure that the valve lines up with the valve hole in the outer shell. Make sure that there are no twists in the air cell and that the seams in the air cell's bow and stern line up with the seams in the outer shell's bow and stern. Take the valve out of the new air cell and reinstall it through the outer shell. After reinstalling the valve, match up the zippers on one side of the boat. Work the zipper car onto the ends of the zipper. After the zipper is started, make sure that the ends are matched up. They shouldn't be off by more than a few teeth. Slide a fresh shrink tube over the end of the zipper and use a lighter to activate the tube. Tuck the end of the zipper inside the outer shell. Find the ends of the other zipper and pull them out of the outer shell into a J shape. Match up the ends of this zipper, making sure that there aren't any twists. This time the zipper pull will face down. Start the zipper car onto the ends of the zipper. After the zipper is started, make sure that the ends are matched up. They shouldn't be off by more than a few teeth. Slide a fresh shrink tube over the end of the zipper and use a lighter to activate the tube. Fold the zipper pull in the direction it will go, then slide the zipper car up through the small hole. Repeat this operation on the other end of the kayak. Zip up the boat and reinstall the split rings. Inflate the boat, then tighten the valve with the valve wrench. If the air cell doesn't fill the outer shell completely, or if the valve seems to be pulling in an odd direction, deflate the boat, open the outer shell, and adjust the air cell. After adjusting the air cell, be sure to re-zip the boat and replace the split rings. 